What is up everyone, it's DB and I'm back in Roblox Islands for yet another update. We have three updates in a row, can you believe it? We got three updates in a row from the Islands team. They're just like, you know what, you said you wanted updates so we're just gonna keep giving them to you. So we have, so they just really spoiled us this week. So we got three updates. This is actually the new event that we've been waiting for and we've seen a lot of spoilers for, but we had to wait, we had to wait and I couldn't say anything about it. So pretty much if you come over here and we go into the hub, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this update. So it is actually in the main hub if you want to check this out. This is the Patrick Star Show update. So it is a limited time event. So you can see, I'm just going to give you a little quick preview. But before I do, be sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And let's dive into this. So first up, I've already done this on this account. And I'm you know, going to actually show you what you get afterwards on an alt tier. But if you go to the hub, you're going to see we got the Patrick Star Show. This is a sponsorship. So this is a limited time event. My assumption is we're going to have this for a few weeks or a week. I'm not sure because the series does start Friday, July 9th. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna have this event for a few weeks So you can see we got him and there's this whole set here and you can see Patrick here So I'm actually gonna hop onto an alt so you can see this entire process and how to complete it and get your item So you actually get an item for completing this. So it's really cool. It doesn't take that much time It probably takes you about maybe two minutes, but I'm gonna go through step by step and show you everything So it's gonna take a little longer in this video All right So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to Patrick But before I go in there, let's go inside the house I'm just gonna show you we can see inside there's nothing to do inside here currently You know, it's just kind of a decor, but you can see it's pretty cool it's like a, kind of a replica of the set. You got like puppets, you got all kinds of stuff. It's really neat. Got this like giant beast. It looks like a, what is this? Like a lizard foot or something? That's kind of creepy. Is this a bone? Looks like a bone and you got like the planet and you got like some kind of contraption here. You got this, the mirror, the star mirror. You got like a concert stage, some cameras. So pretty cool looking. Yeah, I th actually thought this was gonna be something for a bit. Like I thought it was maybe a message or something, but it looks like it's just kind of for fun. So let's come out back out here and let's talk to Patrick. So if you talk to Patrick, he's gonna tell you, hey, I'm Patrick, my family and I are visiting the hub. We lost a lot of stuff though. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the laugh. You're gonna have to have someone else do the laugh. And then I'm gonna offer some help. So he says, wow, thanks. Help my family members find their stuff and I'll give you a prize. So we're gonna actually have to go around the hub and everything's contained in the hub. So you don't actually have to go through any portals or anything like that, but everything is self-contained in this hub. You can see the hub just looks a little bit different. We don't have the giant mountains anymore. So if you come over to Cecil, Cecil, you can talk to him. He says, up for a hike. I dropped a big stack of pancakes up in the mountain. So we say we'll do, and this only takes like maybe two minutes. Like if you want to do a couple alts or something like that to get more items, you could do so. And it's pretty fast to do, but basically you can even like take a shortcut up on that side there right there and go all the way up the top. I'm going to go the long route, but you can just kind of climb up the side of that, you know, castle. But if you don't want to get lost, just follow along this path and go up the arrows. It kind of tells you where to go, which is really helpful. So you can see the arrows up here and we're gonna get our pancakes so we're gonna hold down and we got our pancakes so now we got to go back down to your grandpa so you can see this is a little shortcut so if you're gonna take a shortcut just take up the side right here so you can kind of come up this side right here and just kind of go up straight up like that that would be the fastest way if you're gonna do a speed run of this just come up the side and go straight up to that and then when you come back you can come through the castle or you can go back down the path you came from i'm just gonna come down from the castle hop down and we're gonna go talk to him again to let him know got my pancakes well done no problem all right, the next one you're gonna do is this little dude, Squidina, near the pond. So this is actually, we gotta go inside the water. So let's talk to her. And then listen up, Fastlands, there's a box of Kelpo in the lake and I need you to find it on it. So pretty much you can see the arrows over here. You can see the red arrow and it's pointing downwards. So let's hop in here. And it's nice because there's arrows like pointing everywhere, that, you know, pretty much guiding you through this entire process. So it's not meant to be really hard. So you can see there's Kelpo. Let's pick up the Kelpo. I wish we could keep those. I, I really wanted that to be in my inventory. That's such a cool looking item. But because, you know, the show is Nickelodeon's, we can only get one item and I think that's what they authorized. So you can see Squidina. Okay, nice, I'll take that. All right, so from here, you wanna come back and you're gonna go back towards this hill over here. You can see this little floating island. You'll see Grandpat. So talk to Grandpat. Says, hey, Fastlands, would you help me fetch my cookies? They're on the island. Uh -huh. Like he's, he's basically trying to play a prank on you, by the way. He's trying to prank you. So you gotta watch out for the prankster. They hop up these. These are kind of familiar. If you've been playing Bedwars, these are just like the Bedwars obby. Come up here, get your cookies and just hold down F on that. And then you can come back down or you can just drop down to him. But um, I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna come back to talk to Grandpat. Hey, Grandpat. And he's like, what, you didn't fall? Well, thanks. So we're gonna come over here. So you can see the barn over here. We're gonna come behind that barn right here where Talia's at. And you're gonna find one more family member over here. And you're gonna talk to Bunny. So she says, oh gosh, I think I lost my orange juice in that cave. Can you find it for me? Will do, Bunny. So come down here and then just go all the way around. And this is the last quest you have to worry about. So just follow along. 
it's one of these tunnels over here. There's a light. There we go. And you'll find this. It's next to blue, like looking like plant thing. And then hold down to get her orange juice. Like I said, it would be so cool if we could have kept those. And then just find your way out of the caves. And then go back and talk to her right here. And she says, golly, great find. Thanks. No problem. Now, it doesn't tell you you need to go back to talk to Patrick, but you have to. I wish SpongeBob was a part of this. That would have been so cool. But this is all about Patrick. This is Patrick's show, not SpongeBob's. So let's go back to talk to Patrick. Just click on him. And he says, wow, thanks, Fastlands. Have this for helping so you can take the gift. At this point, you got everything. This is it. And you get a badge as well. So I'll show you the badge right now. But you see, this is the statue. So that is the Patrick statue. It's so cool. It's really cool looking. So we like our statues. We like our statues. All right. So here's what the badge looks like. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So if we scroll down here to all the other badges right here, you can see it is 80,000 so far that have won it. And all you got to do is complete all the quests during the Patrick Show event. So it is a quick event. It's very small. It's very simple to do. So again, this is the prize if you're going to do it. Now I'm going to go show you this on my island real quick. So we're going to take this back to my island. So I'm back on my main account. I'm going to show you what the statue looks like. It's actually a, it's actually called a trophy. I don't know why I call it a statue, but here is the trophy. It's pretty awesome looking. Look at them. So you can add that to your trophy room. I would actually recommend getting a bunch of these if you could get it, you know, some alt try to collect them if you can if you can't then just you know try to save up some coins to buy them and um, because after this event is over these are going to be worth a lot more so a lot of people have actually asked me what this is going to be worth so i'd say it's probably going to be worth anywhere between 40 to 60 thousand once it settles down right now it's probably going to be worth a lot more though i hear people are getting seven or fifty thousand for their trophies as like literally minutes ago so that's going to drop really fast so it's not that's not going to be a price indication but if you're going to sell yours right away you know try to get a lot of money for them if you can but i will tell you they will drop down in price and as soon as the event ends, you're going to want to like, you know, pretty much hold on to them for maybe a month or two and then you can start selling them because these like, I've got so many other trophies here. See, I've got so many other trophies still. I've got 50 of these. I would actually say, you know, try to keep 50 of them if you can afford that. That's a lot I know for most players, but um, you know, if you can save up a bunch, then great. And then the other thing I want to say is a lot of people have been asking me, DB, how much is the Spirit Island statue going to go for? And I actually think it's going to go for anywhere between 20 to 50 million, maybe more for the first one or two, you know, but it's going to be worth a lot. So the thing is, is most people have been spending their, you know, spirits. So they're not really saving very well. You know, the spirits do return in about three hours, probably about two hours by the time this video comes out. And the thing is, is not people, not many people are saving up their 500. So because that, because everyone's buying like saplings, everyone's trying to get rich really fast off those. So this statue is going to actually go for quite a bit as soon as it comes out, as soon as the first person actually that has 500 spirits, they're going to be making a lot of money off this, but it looks really cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like. Um, I'm probably just going to buy mine or I'll just grind on an alt so I can keep buying stuff on this one. But um, yeah, it's going to be going for quite a bit. So hang in there. So as far as upcoming updates, I really, really hope the devs actually do add some cool stuff to this you know, island for us to do because I think it has so much opportunity. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what they're thinking in their minds is that they can do so much with this world. There's a lot they can do with it. It's super cool. Um, you know, if they add some more mobs or bosses or, you know, some people are actually asking for blocks too. They want to like spare grass. They want to basically build a world that kind of feels like this, maybe a little bit more purple, a little bit more blues. And they, they I think they want to rebuild this with the, you know, the islands team has created in this island. So I think that's a natural progression is being able to do a lot of that stuff. And, you know, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I mean, I'm curious what they're going to actually come up with. So as far as the timing of this update for the Nickelodeon or the Patrick star, I don't know how long it's going to be out. My guess is they're probably going to have it around for a few weeks. Um, usually when they have events, they, you know, leave them up for a couple weeks because the Patrick star show, obviously the new series starts on July 9th. So my guess is this is going to be around for a while. Um, be sure to, you know, just go in, get as, in as many trophies as you can. Now, if you don't have multiple devices to grind more than one, you know, you can always just ask a friend to like, you know, pretty much just let you visit their VIP server or something like that. But that would probably be the best way to do it. Just, you know, give the items to your friend and let them give them back to you after you're done or something. If that's what you want to do, you know, some of you are just happy with one. And I think that's perfect because some people are actually grinding to, you know, store up value. Some people just want to play the islands update, you know, like everyone else. So yeah, it just really depends on what you want to do. Outside of that, I'm actually working on getting my first billion here. So that is actually in progress. I'm starting to finally set up my other shop. So I'm going to be publishing that other shop. And then um, I'm going to work on actually 2 billion. And then once I get 2 billion, just as a heads up, I'm actually going to start taking donations. I know that's that's crazy. Never do that. 
Yeah, 100%. I don't. Not for myself. But what I'm going to be doing pretty soon is I'm going to be actually start allowing donations for one thing and one thing only. I'm actually going to start doing giveaways to people randomly in games. So I'm going to actually be visiting players here and there who need stuff and I'm going to be giving them stuff. So what that doesn't mean is that you can send me a message and say, DB, I need something. Now, I'm not going to be doing handouts like that. I will be doing random stuff. So you might see me pop in a server. If you see me, I might give you something, but we'll see. We shall see. It depends on how much stuff I have. But, I, but I've really felt bad that I haven't been able to give out stuff. I get a lot of people asking me, for things. And I always feel bad that I can't afford to give you anything because I don't have much of those things, you know? So my, my inventory has really been just for me to be able to survive and, you know, make money on. And I haven't really been grinding to give out stuff. So I'm going to be, that's going to be changing pretty soon. If so, anyway, keep an eye out for that. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.